Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started guys, please subscribe if you are new here and you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 147,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also guys, go follow me on all of my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow me on all of those. And guys, make sure you have on your notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. And as you guys know, I've been giving shout outs to people who follow me over on Twitter. So if you want to win a, a shout out, go follow me on Twitter. Links in the description. And today's shout out goes to, drum roll. Jake Curtis. Congratulations, Jay Curtis. Congratulations. But what is going on, you guys? Welcome back. And today I am doing another video on, it's kind of like the same as yesterday. It's story time about what's been going on in my house over the last couple of weeks. I told you guys some of the stuff, what happened. And if you guys didn't see that video, go check it out and it'll help you catch up to where we are now. Uh, these things that I'm going to tell you now happened after that, but still it's been a couple of weeks. This all happened around the same time. I did forget about a couple of little details because I did want to tell you guys all of it in yesterday's video, but I just, I should have planned it out more, wrote them down, but I didn't. It was just like, I thought maybe I'll remember everything, but I didn't. So I'm going to tell you guys the other part of the story in this video. So if you guys saw yesterday's video, you know about the, the can of ax hitting my guitar, like somehow it mysteriously fell off my dresser and banged on my freaking acoustic guitar. It wasn't like it just fell. I mean, it looked like it fell. The, the can of axe was just on the floor when I seen it, but the noise it made was like, literally like somebody threw it. Um, because my first thought was the guitar fell over. Like the strings made a big loud noise and everything. Like it was like, Bow! So that was definitely, something definitely happened. And I know a lot of you guys were saying maybe it did just fall off, but I don't think you guys are understanding like what I meant. The, the can was here. And there was a travel bag here at the edge of the dresser. So it wasn't anywhere near the end. And there was a, a travel bag in the way. Excuse me. There was a travel bag in the way of like the the axe falling off. So it would have had to literally lift up and go over the bag and then fall down onto the guitar. It was just impossible. And as you guys know about the other story about the wind up uh, snow globe of New York City with the Twin Towers and stuff like that, that was playing. And some of you guys have pretty interesting stories. Be sure if you've got any stories that are pretty creepy or anything that's weird that's happened to you guys, let me know in the comment section because I loved reading your stories yesterday. That was really interesting. And some of you guys have had experiences very similar to what I'm telling you now. So anyway, uh, the other part of the story, which I didn't tell you guys, which I totally forgot about, was actually taking place in this attic. So my grandma was here and uh, we were trying to organize this attic a little better and uh, we were working on some stuff, putting things on shelves and stuff like we got some shelving units over there and we were just trying to tidy the place up. And there is a box over there where the, the entrance is to the attic, it goes down into the second floor of the house. And where the entrance is, it's kind of like a hole in the ground and it goes down, uh, like steps go down into the second floor of the house. Now where these steps are, there was a box just in the corner, the very corner of the attic, the far, far corner. And it was like, it was just a box of like Christmas lights. That's all it was. There was nothing really special about this box. Just had Christmas lights in it. And it was in the far corner because we looked at it and we were like, maybe we should put that on the shelf with the Christmas decorations. So we were like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. But while we were working on other stuff, like setting up these new shelving units and stuff like that, um, we just left the box there. And then the next thing we know is like, we were putting something in a garbage bag. The next thing, this box, like my grandma had her back to it, but I could, I was like facing it and I actually seen it. And it was literally like maybe three feet away from the, like the entrance to the attic. And the box just drifted and like fell almost as if it slid down there but there was no way for it to slide. It's like, it's completely level. It's been there for a long time. The box was never touched. It was, I guess it's been there since Christmas. It's never been touched. And I come up here all the time to film videos, but we were up here for a good couple hours 
and this box literally slid and went down the hole and we were like what my grandma was like whoa what was that what just fell and i was like that box that box with the christmas lights just literally just went down that hole like i actually watched it it wasn't like i wasn't looking at it but the it caught my attention like as i was looking at the garbage bag or whatever we were doing in the corner of my eye you know when you can just see something moving and it just went down the hole that was weird not saying it's paranormal but it was definitely weird and it did seem to be like impossible we were trying to rationalize it and there was no way it could really just fall down the hole it just didn't make sense now the other part of the story was there's a thing in here like a post that's kind of the center of the house i guess and it's a, a wooden post that's right over there in the middle i would show you guys but it's literally just there's not much to see in here and it's just a mess but there's a post right over there and there is a mirror like a big heavy chunky mirror and the mirror is like it is very big and very heavy and it's got like a uh, string on the back of it like it's it's got like three or four um pieces of string which like go from one side to the other to the other and they're like completely screwed into the back of this mirror because you need it it's like a really weighty mirror so it was hanging on this post and it was like you know just normal eye level like i'm like six foot or feet so it's about my height off the ground so you could literally like see yourself in it and it was hanging on a screw on the post and it's been there forever like it's literally been there for years and i came up here one day the other day and when i came up i didn't even notice it at first until i was sitting here making a video and the mirror is like right, right there i can see it right now and i was thinking whoa i was like looking at myself without realizing like i am right now and i was like okay yeah like i look good whatever you know and then I noticed, like, wait a sec, why is the mirror there? Like, why is it on the floor like that? It's on the floor, but it's stood up and it's leaning against the post. So I walked over and I looked at the post and the screw has been pulled out of the, the wood. Now, I could have been the mirror. It sounds like it, I, that's what I'm thinking. It was just the mirror, but it's worth mentioning since a lot of other creepy stuff was going on. But I think it could have just been the mirror eventually, even though it's been there for years, nobody ever touches it or anything. Maybe it's just... It, it was it's time to like strip the wood and the screw came out because the screw was on the ground and the the hole looks literally like destroyed there's like uh like little pieces of wood all sticking out of this hole so it's definitely been like pulled out but i'm guessing it could have just been the weight of the mirror the mirror however is on the ground perfectly intact which is this is what baffled me is like the mirror is not broke or anything it's not even cracked it's in perfect condition but the floor the ground underneath it like it's like hardwood floor in here and the floor actually has a big chunk of wood taken out of it like a big sliver like this so it definitely it damaged the floor it must have fell pretty hard and it damaged the floor but the mirror is perfectly fine which is really weird like you would expect the mirror to break before like the post and the, the floor but yeah, it's took a big chunk out of the floor and it's ripped a hole in the wood where the screw was and the mirror is just on the floor, which is, it's weird, but it is probably just the mirror. Eventually things get old and I think that wood in the post probably just got old and the screw just came out, stripped the hole and it just came out and the mirror crashed on the ground. But it's just weird how the mirror stayed up. It didn't like fall on its front. It didn't like go poof, poof, like it should have it fell like this and it stayed perfectly like upright and it's not a mark on it like it's not cracked or anything but the, the, the floor is there's a big chunk taken out of the floor so i thought that was pretty weird it's worth mentioning but that's pretty much it that was literally all the experiences i had but this all happened over a period of like three days three or four days so i thought it was worth mentioning like all of the stuff together i haven't had nothing weird happen since then it's literally been like two weeks since then but let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you slap a like on it remember guys like save lives one like equals one save a life and if you want to see me live a long happy healthy life hit the like button if you want to see me die a painful slow and agonizing death because the ghost in my house is gonna come into my room at night and slit my throat and then start eating me hit the dislike button. And my question to all of you guys for question of the day is what do you think this was? Do you believe this was all paranormal? Like check out the stories that I've told over the last two days and let me know what you guys think was like the logical explanation. I want to know what you guys think and that is question of the day. And finally guys if you are still watching right now go look in the bottom of the description there is a secret comment code. Shh. Don't tell anyone though, it's a secret. But I want you to take that code, put it in the comment section. It proves to me that you watched the video till the end and you found it. But thank you all for watching. Remember the most important thing, chase your dreams. I love you all and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.